Hey guys, it's Cashin, also known as Vega. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to color palette in Fighter Factory. Now, Fighter Factory is a Mugen program. I'll put it in the description where you can download it. This is how you make Mugen characters and stuff. I'm not that good at making Mugen characters. I'm trying my best, but I'll show you how to color palette. First, let's open up a character by going to File, Open a Character. Think of one that you like really much. I like Vega, but that one's kind of tricky. So I'll stick with something original. Like, I have so many characters, so let's see. Hmm, any minute now. So many characters. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll pick Ken. Ken's one of my second favorite characters, but this is the important part. Look for the dark death file. Okay, you probably see like a little avatar. That's okay. You're gonna click the button sprites. Now you got all these sprite windows. There's 812 of them. Go to one that's the first fighting sand. Right here. You're gonna zoom in. How many times you want? I do it close because I know I'm doing it right. <coughs> now the important part about this is make sure you got the shading right, or else it'll look kind of crappy. So start off with the outline of the sprite. We got like a dark red. Oops, I went ahead, sorry. You're gonna go to this window right here, it shows like three cubes. Now you see like a radiant thing. You can make it any color you want. I really don't care. Of course my favorite color is green, so we'll stick with the green. Now you're gonna press add to custom colors. Go to that color. Now you're going to go to this one right here. It is right by your uh, gradient tool. That's going to apply the color to your palette. As you see, it changed. We're not done yet, but we're getting there. Now you're going to do the same exact thing to another piece. We'll get this color now. We'll make it dark green since that's the dark of the pants. Go ahead and add custom colors again. And again, we're going to make this one a dark green. So it can fit into the picture. Man, it looks kind of crappy. We'll try a different kind of green. See if we can go lighter. There we go. Stick with this green. And you see we have a little bit of red still. Now, since that's a bright red, we'll make it a bright green. As you see, it's looking pretty good so far, but there's still a little bit red. So just click on the eyedropper tool and pick that color red and make that one dark green. And I'll give you part two right now of how to save this. It's really easy. I'll tell you how to add any Mugen and, uh, you get these two looking floppy disks. Now make sure it's a dot act folder. Name it anything you like. I'm gonna name it Adam Green. Let me just put it lowercase. It's gonna save as a dot act folder. Part two will be coming right up.
Hey guys, it's Cashin from Las Vega again. We're gonna continue that tutorial I taught you about palette coloring. What well, should I say? Palette swapping. So now, what you're gonna do is go to your No Limit Mugen patch or whatever you named it. This one's the big one that I use, so I'm not gonna go to that one. I put the character in here, No Limit Mugen patch, the default one. Open your character select screen. You should have two characters in there, but add the character that you added in there. I'm going to put my Ken MVC. Okay, now you're going to go to the Ken MVC.dev folder or whatever it is. Make sure you're on the .dev file, or else you can't do it. Now, you're going to see something like this. It says all these palettes. All these palettes are located in the ACT, means ACT. So basically these are the palettes that he has. You're going to put it as palette 9, pal 9 equals ACT slash Adam Green dot ACT. You see it's called right here. And it's an ACT file. Now, you're going to save it. Open up your Red Mugen. I don't know why mine does that. It's kind of a little size. Sorry if you guys can't see that. Let me just fix the controls really fast. Yep, everything's good. Okay, sorry about that. Go under training, and I forgot to add the character in the dot diff file. Shit. Part of my French guys. Go to your data, select, add that characters on your Mugen. Of course, everybody knows how to do this. If you don't, I'll make a tutorial for that. Name it exactly how it is. Can slash, I mean underscore M V C. Okay, everything looks fine. Save it. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long, guys. I am really tired. It is too late where I live. That is my excuse, and I'm being honest. Okay, now we go to training. Go to Ken. You see he's right here. Press any of your buttons that you have to play Mugen. Like high kick, low kick. And as you can see, the one on the right is the palette. And that's how you do this. 